time I drive to this pottery barn outlet, I feel like I'm up to something really shady. I feel like I'm about to do something undercover. But it also makes it feel like this outlet is uh, not very known. But here we are once again. Super cool. So I am at the Alameda location and they have a little QR code to check for new arrivals. Lots of sales. Wow. I love this combo right here. This is super cute for a children's bed. I love the detailing on the rails. And the legs have that same shape. If you watched my IKEA shopping video, then I am in the same outfit, and that's because I filmed both of these videos on the same day. So just FYI. Really cool mirror. I love mirrors like this that have the lines on them. This one's got these little round details on it too. Because it's not like brass or metal, it's got more of a rustic feel, which I really like. So the reason why I came here today is because I am still on the hunt for a coffee table. I think that was the same case last time I was here. So yeah, I haven't had a coffee table since then. We sold our old one and it's just about time that we find one. I've been checking Facebook Marketplace almost on the daily to see if I can score a really nice quality one for a good deal. But I haven't been able to find any, so I'm hoping I'll find something today. I'm looking for something rustic, wood, maybe a mix of metal too. Um, yeah. Wish me luck! Ooh, I love this mirror. I love that it's like a floor length mirror, but it, uh folds like that so cute or not cute so nice <laughs> using the wrong words and then this mirror on the right is really nice too and it looks like everything is a 50 percent additional off the ticketed price so this mirror here is about 400 dollars i'm really liking the mix of this like warmer wood tone with the grayish marble um I think the first time I saw this combo was in a Studio McGee tour video, but I really like that mix. It's like warm, classic. Okay, well, they've got way more coffee tables today than they did when I last came here, but I have, I'm having a feeling that they're gonna be a little too big. So this is something that I'd be open to, like a thick wooden top with metal legs. I like how it's like rustic a bit, but still very modern. This is the size that we want, but I don't like this one in particular. No. I like these, but again, too big. This one's too light. Oh, this is so funny. This is my old coffee table. So if you didn't know, Pottery Barn and West Elm are part of the same like parent brand. And yeah, this is what I used to have. <laughs> But I didn't like how it was becoming too open, like it looks cluttered with stuff on it. The round tables are really nice too, but because our dining table is round already, it would just be too much round happening in our home. So it looks like we're not going to get our coffee table today again. <laughs> but I'm glad that I found out about the QR code thing because then I can just check online and not have to drive all the way here and if they ever release something that I do want, I can just like drive on over but yeah, it was still worth the trip because I love coming here and seeing what they have and so I'm gonna check out the rest of this place They have Harry Potter diffusers. <laughs> That's so cute. This is a really cute desk chair. I like the mix of the light wood tone with the dark leather. It adds a feminine touch to it. And how the legs down there are like curved on the edge. Ooh, this is such a pretty glass cabinet. It's got an arched top. And just like the thickness of the wood, the tone, it's 
very warm. I like this brass, like a deeper brass tone on the handles. Did I have my flashlight on? <laughs> Oops. Gorgeous. It's like such a statement piece. This hutch is so beautiful. My dream is to have a hutch like this and show like vintage bowls and plates through the glass doors. This tray is huge. This desk is so cute. I'm loving legs like this. <laughs> like anything that has like the rounded feature on it. It can be tricky striking a good balance between classic vintage and modern. And I think Pottery Barn, blah, 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 Pottery Barn products are good at that. Um, and their products can be easily mixed in with like more modern pieces and more traditional pieces too. Ooh, uh, this is a beautiful console cabinet. Wow. I really wanted something like this for our home. I ended up getting just like an all black, not see-through because we just don't have enough storage space and I didn't want to add more visible clutter. But something like this would be so pretty with like plates or vases in there or some more like visible decor. I like this wine bottle holder. You can have it on top of a console table or like a buffet table or inside a buffet cabinet. This would be a really nice gift for a wine lover too. Oh my god, I just noticed Christmas stuff. We must go there. Here's some little things that are 50 off. These glasses back there immediately caught my eye. Those ones, they would be really cute for serving like a cold glass of beer. They're $24 each, so that pack is about $100. This is an interesting shape. I don't know why, but these remind me of glasses that you could use for like a root beer float. <laughs> These are so cute! Guys, this is $2. I'm gonna definitely get these. <laughs> okay, so I put some things that I'm considering here. These are such a good deal. This is $5. The bigger ones are $5 each. The small one is $2. And then I really like this wooden one. This one is $5 as well. These are such great pieces to add to my Christmas collection. And I feel like these are very timeless pieces too. They don't have a shopping cart or basket here, so I'm just gonna put them here for now. This is so cute. It's a frame for your baby photos and you can put a photo at each month. This is such a cute gift for if you have a friend who's about to have a baby. Oh my god. This is a cute jewelry holder. It's for necklaces. This lamp here is massive, but I really like that design. This makes me want a breakfast neck. And then on the left here, I thought these stools are so cute. And these are... 40% off, $2.99, so a little over a hundred each, which I think is a great deal. They look very high quality. I'm really liking this slip cover chair here. This bluish gray tone is really nice. I think it would suit our home. We've got some blue in our main living area rug, so this would help bring that out. Here's another slip cover chair that I think is really nice. It's got just a classic beige tone. And then there's like the ultra white ones over here. I love these the way they look, but I'd imagine it'd be hard to maintain their whiteness. 
So here we've got some outdoor stuff. I remember these pots from the last time I was here. I love the little um, ruffled edges. I have something like that in our balcony. I think some of these pieces would work really well indoors too. Especially like this one here. They've got a lot of outdoor furniture pieces, which I'm not really going to look at because we don't need anything there. And these are all mainly bulky items. And then over there, there's sofas. So weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting to get so much Christmas stuff, but it was such a good deal. So basically, I'm going to show everything that I got right here. I got all of this for $12.58. I feel like one of those things can be like 20 something dollars. Um, and this was like Pottery Barn quality. So I'm super excited to use them next year. Post Christmas sales, I didn't think were still going on, but I always get the best Christmas stuff after Christmas. I'm going to just have to be patient about getting a coffee table. So I'm going to keep checking Marketplace and also check the page that they had over there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this shop with me. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.